this is going to, we're going to be making apple crisp today. Yes, we're actually going to be making two different kinds. One is going to be the traditional kind with all the yummy sugar in it. And the second kind will be a healthy kind without any sugar. And then at the end, stay tuned because we are going to try them both and get the kids' reactions and see if they like the healthy one at all and how much different it is. So stick around to the end for that. All right, we're gonna start off with the healthy version. First, I peeled all the apples, then I sliced them, and then I put them in water with a little something in it to stop the browning so that I could have them prepared ahead of time. I have used uh, lemon juice, I have used um, honey, that works really good to stop the browning. I didn't have any of either one of those today, so I used pineapple. I've used that before, pineapple juice, on bananas to stop the browning, and it worked. So I put a little in, didn't work the best, but they're not too brown, so that worked for that little tip. All right, we're gonna start the recipe now on the unhealthy, good version. All right. Can I hold it? Oh. That's the one we're gonna do. Brown sugar. Nope, that's the cinnamon. I actually didn't get out the brown sugar. Forgot an ingredient. Um, three-fourths cup of brown sugar. Mm -hmm. Well, the oven's preheated. <laughs> one of the recipes says 375, and the other one said uh, 350. So I'm going with the 375, and I'll just lower the time of the other one. All right, what else do we need? One half cup flour. It's always nice to have a helper in the kitchen. Okay. One half cup. Okay. What's next? One third cup butter. I forgot to get that out. Just a moment. Okay. I guess I'll melt the butter and be right back with you the power of a video, I can do. And just like that, we're back with melted butter. Don't you wish things would go that fast in real life? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we'll pour that in, very hot. And what's next on our list, Bryce? Three fourth teaspoons, teaspoons. Yes. of cinnamon. And I put in at least double because I really like cinnamon. All right, what's next? Um, three fourth teaspoon of nutmeg. Nutmeg. Put in a little extra of that too, just because. All right. Anything else? Um, all it says now is uh, 375 degrees and 30 minutes. Alright, so we just stir this up and then I'm going to let you stir that and finish stirring it while I put some apples in the pan. Drain off this water. So this is the healthy kind or the regular? No, this is the unhealthy. It has the sugar in it. I don't really think we put in brown sugar. Brown sugar. Oh, yeah. And it's about half the apples I made. Oh, it smells so delicious. <laughs> and then we just put that on top. Good job, Bryce. You're Sprinkle that on top, 
And then we will set that aside and come back and make the healthy version. And we're back and we're ready to make our healthy apple crisp now. I've drained all the water out of the rest of the apples and now we're going to add some stuff to the apples first and then we will make the topping in a moment. So first we need two tablespoons arrowroot powder. Now one more. There you go. That works. And then shake it. All right. Two teaspoons of cinnamon. And they can be uh, heaping. They can be heaping teaspoons. That's heaping. Means over, not level. When you measure, you're supposed to have everything level usually, unless it says heaping. Or unless you're just adding extra like I do. An eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. Eighth of a teaspoon? That looks about right, don't you think? Mm -hmm. <laughs> a half a teaspoon salt. I knew I grabbed salt. Hold it over there. Over the bowl. Oh. It's way more than half It's a little more than half a teaspoon. A little more. There, we'll go with that. And oats. You know what? I just messed up already. Because it says to put half of the cinnamon in now and half in the topping. That's okay. It'll just be really cinnamony. I don't know. All right, half of the maple syrup, which would be five tablespoons. Do you want to use that? We can do it. I was just going to guess, but if he wants to do it right, one, five. two, three, four, five, and then stir this and then we'll put this in the pan and while I'm stirring this I'm going to get him started on the topping which is one and a half cup of oats one and a half, one and a half cups description below so that you can try it if it turns out I'll let you know if it turns out at the end so looks good it looks like um uh oops for the oh it looks like deliciousness <laughs> deliciousness 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 right. he's doing the one and a half cup Oats, I've got a quarter cup cooked quinoa. And then a half cup almond flour. Hold that over the bowl. Looks about right. And then a teaspoon of cinnamon. And nine tablespoons coconut oil, said it. So a little over half a cup. So I'm just kind of guessing here. And also a half cup pecans. I actually did have some. I'm using what I have left in the cupboard. So. And that's it for the topping. Aw, are we over already? Yeah, I'm sorry. Well, you want to help put this on or you want me to? Um. I think I make some mistakes, so I'll do. Okay, so we're gonna put this on top of our apples here. Looks pretty good. 
You know what I did? I didn't put in the rest of the maple syrup. So let's put in the maple syrup. Your tablespoon. Mm. I'm glad I remembered now. One. Dump. Two. Dump. Dump. Three. It's <laughs> Dump. Four. Dump. And it looks like that's pretty much it. I'm glad I had just enough. All right, so now I'll stir and put it on top. It's I know. Or else it would have been ruined. Oh, no. <laughs> no drama king here. All right, now we'll put it on top. And I'm going to put this in the oven along with the other one for a half hour. And then we'll be back with you and show you what they look like and do the taste test. And we'll see who likes this one at all, whether they do or not, and how much different it is from the sugary goodness version. All right, we're going to try it, all of us, and see what we like for the healthy granola. I said that wrong. Healthy apple crisp. Deliciousness. Mm. Good. I couldn't really taste the Good. pecans. It tasted like normal apple crisp with just a slight little bit of non-sugary. I like that one, too. I do, too. Yeah. It's a little less sweet, but actually it's in a good way because the apples give it a great flavor. Now we have two apple crisps to like. So, thumbs up there. And we all know we like the sugary apple crisp, so we don't have to try it. So. Can I have some? All right, so thanks for watching, and I hope you'll like, subscribe, and join us in this joy-filled life. Thanks. Bye.